Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I will show you around 50 tips and tricks to customize every aspect of your new OnePlus 6. OnePlus 6 runs the latest version of Android with the smooth and stable Oxygen OS overlay. Overall, it has some really fine software tips, tricks, and features that you need to know. So let's dive in and master the OnePlus 6 and enhance your ownership of this fantastic smartphone. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is the gestures you can apply on a lock screen. So let me go to the settings really quick. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. When you go to the settings, just scroll down and in the customization block over here, go into gestures and go all the way down and you'll see these five different gestures. Draw O, V, S, M, W. So let me show you what this one does and you'll get the idea for the rest of them as I show you this one. So let's tap on this guy and let's pick calculator as my application to launch when I draw the O gesture in the lock screen. So if I go to the lock screen right now, turn off the phone, and if I just draw the, the word O, it's going to, oops, I just missed that. If I just draw it, it's going to launch the calculator right away. Okay, so you can have five of these gestures, and these are the different words, I mean letters you can use, the V, S, M, and W, and you can choose any app to launch by drawing these gestures and of course you can also have the uh, these shortcuts to be performed such as the camera front camera record a video open flashlight or open shelf so this is not bad at all okay so those are the gestures and that is in fact my favorite feature now the next thing I want to talk about is the notch so one of the most standout features of this phone is the notch it looks almost like the iPhone and what you can do with this notch is you can actually disable it to some extent. And uh, by disabling, I mean you have to, you can mask it using a software bar, which is in black color, that's going to match the notch. So if you go down a little bit over here, uh, tap on display. Uh, over here, you'll see notch display. You tap on this guy, and then you tap on hide the notch area, and boom, you get a black bar that covers it vertically over here, I mean horizontally, and then it looks as if there is no notch. And of course, even as you do this, you can still see the clock and the other little uh, icons over here. So that's a nice touch because you're not losing the real estate, all right? So uh, let's go back out, let's go back to the notch display, and let's move on to the next tactic. Now going back into the main settings, uh, this area is very important. It is all about customization. So you have the alert slider, which is the physical button over here that you can use to change your phone from vibrate to silent uh, uh, to ring. Okay, so what you can do is, let's say that you use the slider to go to silent mode. What you can do is you can pick what happens when you're in that mode. So if I tap on this one, so it's saying over here that alarms will always ring even when you are in silent mode but you can, in fact, mute the media volume. But if you undo this, it's gonna mute everything else but the alarms and the media. But if you enable this, media will be muted as well, such as when you're watching a YouTube video. So let's go back, you can do the same thing with vibration, different little settings, and same thing with the ring over here. Also vibrate for calls, okay? So that's number one. Uh, number two over here is buttons, another very, very interesting option in the OnePlus 5. So basically, if you tap on it, you get to play with the three buttons at the bottom here. And there's so much you can do here. The first thing I'm going to show you guys has to do with navigation bar and gestures. So not the buttons, but the actual bar at the bottom. So tap on the navigation bar, and you can have a fixed bar, or if you want a full screen, seamless view, you can hide the navigation bar. Now what you can do is you can tap on this thing, a button, and the bar just disappears, all right? So if you want to bring it back, you just go like that, and it's right there. Again, if you want to get rid of it, uh, it'll go down by itself, but uh, for the first time, you would have to tap this for it to stay or disappear. If I tap it again, it disappears. If I pull it off again and tap it, it stays, all right? So you can play with that that way. Uh, you can always send it down also. And finally, over here, you have the navigation gestures. So if you tap this guy, what you can do is you have a bunch of gestures. One of them is this guy here. So this is the gesture that takes you to the home screen, okay? Let's go back into the settings. Uh, this is the gesture. If you pause over here, it starts the uh, multitasking pane, so you can pick any app that you want. And then the other gestures you have over here, uh, oops, wrong menu. 
uh, to the buttons, navigation bar, other gestures that you have are the, uh, the, the back gesture that allows you to go back or you have the landscape gesture that also gives you this option right over here. So you can come and take a look at these if you want to. Now let's go back out and let's um, actually go to fixed navigation bar. Let's go back out. Uh, when you have the fixed navigation bar enabled, all these options are also enabled. This one is gonna swap the buttons for you. So the recent goes over here. I mean, the back goes over here. The recent key goes over here. Uh, that's up to you which one you want where. Uh, this one over here, press power button twice for camera is something standard now on all these Android smartphones. You double tap the power, power button and it's gonna bring out the actual camera so you can take a quick shot on the go. Now here's where things actually get very interesting. So you have the home button, which is the middle one. You've got the recents button, which is the square one, and you've got the back button, which is this triangle over here. You can customize these buttons individually. They all have a basic function. So if, if, I, if I tap this, it just goes home. If I tap and hold, it launches the assistant. But you can actually program extra gestures into it. So let me uh, go back here, buttons. Uh, let's just uh, use the home button as an example. So long press action. Normally it is set to launch Google Assistant, but you can do all these other things as well, including no action. Uh, let's uh, do this one, double tap action. So if I double tap it, I want one of these things to happen. Let's uh, go to shelf when we double tap. Okay, so if I double tap right now, boom, it goes right to the shelf. And shelf is also an option that resides on the home screen. If you swipe over, it's a bunch of widgets you can use uh, to give you some meaningful information that can also be customized by tapping the plus and adding more widgets to it. Okay, so double tap can always take you to the shelf if you so desire. That's one of the nice features in this phone. And again, you can do the same thing for recents button and you can do the same thing for back button. So these buttons suddenly become very, very uh, useful. All right, so let's keep moving on to the next tips. We did talk about the gestures, but there's some other menus, uh, options here in this menu that I like. Uh, one of them is flip to mute. So if somebody calls you and the phone is ringing, what you can do is you can grab the phone, just flip it over, and it's gonna mute that call. This one here is a three finger screenshot. So if you swipe three fingers on the screen, it's gonna take a screenshot, okay? That's also very fantastic, very convenient. And of course, double tap to wake, which is my favorite which is something that works at the lock screen level. So if I go to the uh, lock screen, it's turned off, double tap, it wakes up the phone, all right? And you also have a music control uh, that allows you to, again, this happens on the lock screen. You can draw the pause and it's gonna pause the music that plays. Or you can draw the pause again and you have to use two fingers like this and that's going to pause or play music. So pause, play, okay? And if you do this or this, it's gonna go to the previous track or the next track absolutely fantastic and we did talk about this already now let's go back out over here and let's take a look at the status bar uh, status bar pertains to the top area here so first and foremost you can change the battery style you tap on this you have all these different battery styles battery bar battery circle battery hidden so that's great so if i tap this you have a circle if i tap it again it's gone okay but i do like to have it there so it's right there you can also have this thing enabled, display network speed. So when you pull down the notifications panel, it actually shows you the current network speed that is being used for download or upload. All right, so that's also a nice stat to have if you're into that kind of thing. And over here, you have the icon manager that manages all the icons on the top here. So if you, have, if you don't want the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth icon to show up here, if they're just taking space, you can tap this and this, and they are in fact disabled, okay? So it's a nice option to have to be able to customize this area. And of course, uh, you have all these options as you can see, all right? I like to keep as many uh, enabled as possible for maximum information. So let's go back out here. That was the status bar. And then finally, you have the font over here. The font's very simple. You can switch between Roboto or the OnePlus Slate, which is what I prefer. Uh, this one is a little bit different, as you can see. And uh, I like the way it changes very quickly, okay? It doesn't have to restart the phone. It just goes boom, boom. The next thing I wanna talk about is the display over here. Let's go into it. And of course, the ambient display is very important. It gives you meaningful information on your phone while the phone is shut. Now, the only way to actually activate the ambient display is to lift the phone up. So if the phone is just sitting here, 
and turned on if I lift the phone up I get some nice information like just like that okay so it disappears very quickly which sucks uh, but you can glance at it you pick up the phone you can take a quick glance it'll show you the battery time date notifications if any and all that good stuff let's double tap to go back inside and uh, you can also pick the clock style for the uh, for the always on display for the ambient display I'm sorry not the always on display it's the ambient display so you can pick this option all right doesn't look very bad uh, this is the one I already had over here now you have this one with the analog clock which looks a little more fancy and you have this option over here okay and you can pick the one that you like you can click save and that's what you see on the lock screen so that's the ambient display and you can also have a quick signature so this is going to show up on your ambient display you can have anything you want a word or a phrase and one more thing if you if your screen is turned off and you get a notification a message or an email it is gonna wake up the display temporarily briefly and show you that notification and it's gonna then turn off again all right so that was the ambient display in the display the next thing is the theme over here you can switch between two modes you can go to default which is light or you can go to dark dark is gonna give you a black background with white uh, fonts which looks pretty nice and on top of that you can go to the accent color and change the accent these are the accents the system over here is an accent these are accents and of course these uh, purple ones here are also accents so what I can do is I can tap this I can tap on orange click OK and as you can see those accents are gonna change to orange okay now I prefer the um, light theme so let's go back to that and even with that you can pick different accent colors uh, by tapping this button again all right so you have all these different color options and of course over here you have the pulse notification light uh, if you get a message you want to get notified with the light make sure this one is enabled and when you do enable it you can also change the color of those uh, LED notifications on the top so if you tap this uh, the default notification is always green but you can tap this and pick one of these colors uh, the battery full is always green battery charging you can have something like uh, yellow maybe okay battery low is red and then you can also do per app notification so if I tap on this one I can pick up uh, which app I want to be notified by so if I don't want any notification LEDs to show up when I get a let's see uh, an email I can just disable that and it's now gone downstairs if I want to enable it boom goes right back up okay so nice customization tactics again and finally back in the settings if you scroll down again under display over here you have sound and vibration you tap on this guy and then under earphones you have the audio tuner that you can use to tune your audio if you're into that kind of thing what you do have to do is you have to plug in a uh, headphone into the headphone jack over here which is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and then when you do that all these menus get enabled and you can start to play with these settings okay so I quickly did plug the headphone jack in here you can enable this option you have all these options you can tap on this you have these uh, enhancements you can add onto it and see how it feels and of course you can use the presets for the equalizer or you can do it manually over here by tweaking these settings if you're into that kind of thing okay so Again, this can be disabled even when the headphone is plugged into the jack or you can just enable it. Fantastic. And of course, under the earphone mode, you have these options as well. You can pause the video, take a look at these. Nothing fancy, but just an option that you do have. All right. And that was the final tip I wanted to talk about for the OnePlus 6. Guys, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos like these. And also give this video a thumbs up. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. For now, have a fantastic day. And if you do have any questions or concerns, just drop them down in the comments.